What's up guys, Abraham back with another video. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I was watching this, it's probably only like five of y'all, but that's beside the point. But Merry Christmas to everybody that's out there watching this. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all my bearded dragon and giving an update on my carpet python, my zebra carpet python. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But let's go ahead and get into the video. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. And we're gonna get into this video. Right, so right here is my bearded dragon tank setup. That's it's a hypo citrus bearded dragon, and that's the scientific name, Begonia or whatever. And then Phantom is the bearded dragon's name. This is my bearded dragon right here. It is a male. His name is Phantom, as you saw. This is setup: 55 gallon tank, stand, 40 gallon with the bearded, not bearded dragon, black and white Argentine tegu below it. And this is set up as a mixture of cypress mulch, reptile bark, and some cocoa fiber and all that. And then got a little water bowl right there. Got a heat lamps and everything right there. And right here, all that's moved away because I had a heat pad under there. And he would go over there and move all the stuff off of it and lay on it. But this is him. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take him out for y'all. Come here. Come here. Now, this thing eats a lot of food. He eats a lot. I put a lot of crickets in there. He tore them all up, but this is him right here. But uh, sometimes he'll see the other lizard. He'll turn his beard black and then start huffing and puffing or whatever you want to call it. But this is him. He's pretty chill. The person I got him from just let him free range in the room, which is weird. I've never seen that before. But hey, he just let him free range in the room. He ain't never have a cage. He used to just stand in the room all day long. But this is him. He's not that small. He's pretty big, actually. But this is Phantom for you. What's up? Say hi, Phantom. He said I ain't talking to them folks. But, uh, yeah, this is set up. I got bricks right there and everything because I ain't got, uh, like, anything for him to get on. But he likes that. I'm going to put some more in there. That way he can get up higher, closer to the heat thing. I might put a hammock up here. But uh, bricks. And then he has a 100 and... 100 watt or 125 watt heat bulb and he like he stays warm and everybody stays warm out here i got a heater in here anyway so that's beside the point but uh got a little water ball and i missed him down as well and then uh whenever i'm spraying it he runs over to the water ball and then i start filling up the water ball and as i fill it up he drinks it but yeah this is phantom right here it's a male hypo citrus bearded dragon and uh yeah i'm putting him back in his cage for y'all i have him in this container right here 55 gallon tank and then i got two snake sheds for my two big ball pythons full shed right here i have my green pac-man frog that i got i don't know if y'all seen this yet i have a green pac-man frog in here He's right there. He's not that big, but he's got bigger since I got him because he ate a little bit. But I need to clean his cage. Not cage, but you know what I mean. I'm probably going to get a little five gallon to put him in with some eco earth. Uh, that stuff or whatever you feel. It's a brick and you put it in water. That's what he's in right now. But uh, yeah, that's him. And um, that's Beard Dragon set up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the carpet python and get back to y'all here next to the savannah monitor setup is my carpet python. I took him out of the vision cage and got him an exo her an exo tear, got branches and everything. She mostly stays down there. I need to clean up her cage. She used the bathroom yesterday, last night. But she usually just stays right there in that corner. If she gets too cold, she comes up, sits right here on this branch because this is the heat bulb and it goes down to there. And yeah, that's uh, her setup. She got all this and I missed her down and everything too. I'll take her out for y'all. But I measured her and she's like right at five feet, I believe. But this is her and she stays coiled up. I don't take her out as much. I take, uh, I usually take turns taking my snakes out. But this is a zebra carpet python. And she's been eating good. She ate like two rats the other week. And about time to feed her again because you can see she's not thick anymore. So about time to feed her again. Give her a couple more days and I'm going to try to feed her. Let things warm up around here. But this is her. 
zebra carpet python. She's probably okay. She's probably like a year old, something like that. I think in one of the other videos I told y'all she was a little older, but the guy told me that he found a picture when he first got her, and she's only like a year old. So this is her. This is her setup right here. Got a little water bowl down there. Got some reptile bark. Got trees. Got branches. I sanitized all the branches and then got some spider wood in there. We'll go ahead and put her up here. But she likes to crawl around in there. She likes to do in there. I'm going to get some more stuff in there for her. But uh, that's her. And I'm going to give y'all an update on one more animal and I'll be done with this. Up, I got everything labeled now Danger Venomous, the scientific name, how many copperheads, and their names Venom Twins. One of them sitting right there. Can't really see it. But yeah, the other one is back there in that leaf somewhere. But I got a little water bowl in here for them. I missed them down and everything too. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and Merry Christmas, and we out.